We will be reviewing this Space Edition Gaming Hardware from Fantech, starting from this. An affordable over the ear virtual 7.1 surround sound USB based gaming headphone. Thus, aim sorry for the PC gaming. The controls are located on the cable that houses the volume controls, microphone toggle, and lighting effects. There are RGB lighting on the sides with 8 lighting effects, one of the brightest glow in the market. So here's the mic test. Testing 1, 2, 3. Mic test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My favorite food is ice cream, and the brand is Ben and Jerry. So if you want to present me, please give me more Ben and Jerry. Please. Looking at the ergonomics, it has metal bands to grip well on my head, not too tight. Even flexing this headphone won't break easily. The flexible band helps to adjust any head size well. The ear cups are super padded, not many budget headphones have this. This provides passive sound isolation. It blocks good amount of environmental noises. The software allows you to control the EQ setting, 3D surround sound, 7.1 setting directional adjustment, safe 6 profiles. Since this headphone is powered by USB, it has more power to deliver to the drivers, thus sound louder. So for our testing, we will be testing at 10% window volume while Spotify is set to 100%. For pop and EDM, we use TMB OK. Low bass frequency is superbly energetic and superbly notable. You can feel the subtle air pressure moving. Bass is slightly more audible than the vocals, but the vocals are not muffled. For PML, do it again. Bass is highly energetic and highly notable. The bass fades smoothly at 2 minutes 5 second mark of the song. The bass vibrations are irrelevant. The bass has a slightly more audible level than the vocal in terms of audible level and the vocal is tiny bit muffled. EDM tone sounds alive and highly energetic. For vocals and instrumentals, violin the raindrops. The piano and violin tone is the crystal clear type and not the warm something type. I prefer the full crystal clear type. Has the good amount of the shine at the heights. The bass and drum tones are more audible than the piano and violin, not how the song is meant to be. Pentatonic see through. Mitch Grass's high-pitched male tenor vocals perform good at the heights. More shine would be nice. Vocal beatboxing, echoing and humming is great but slightly more audible than Mitch vocals. This headphone performs well from lows to mids thanks to USB driver. Great for budget gamers who are looking mainly for bass and surround sound in game. This is not suitable for the music listening due to the vocals is a little bit taken back. So thank you for watching my review. Do remember to like, share and subscribe our channel and see you guys in the next review.